hello everyone. Uh, my name is Mr. Rashad Khan. I am a local journalist. I write for Daily Yusuf and I also work for AK News. Uh, today my guest uh, is Naseema Akhtar. She is a Labour Party candidate for Netheraj Ward. Uh, bear in mind, uh, Netheraj was used to be a safe seat for Liberal Democrat Party. Since they joined after 2010 general election, Tory party coalition government, they are getting unpopular. Uh, uh, such as a tuition fee issue and cuts in public services and they are very unpopular in Nadraj. And Kurban Hussain, he won in 2011 local council election, he become a councillor in 2011. Then 2012, Nikki Bond, she won again uh, and 2013 there was a no election and now is a 2014, 22nd of May is a very good chance for Nasima Akhtar. Uh, she can win as well. Uh, Nasima, people want to know about you, who she is. Mostly when we talk to them and they say we don't know Nasima. It's a good chance for you to tell who you are and what's your qualification. Well, as you know, my full name is Nassim Akhtar. Um, I am a regular mother, regular wife, regular daughter from any other next door neighbors or next door girl next door. My quality and qualification, I would say, is that I have been really looking after my family. And when I had a chance, 2010, I went back to do my study and I have finished my LLB honours, which is a law degree, and full-time law degree, so now I'm a qualified lawyer. And uh, why you join Labour Party? Labour Party is the one party I believe in, in whole Britain at the moment, who is the socialist party, who believe in social justice, who believe in equality, who believe in fairness, living wage, and the reason, another main reason is they are the party who introduce human rights, they are the party who speak up for families and children and the future of the children's education, everything. Are you connected with the local people in your ward and you know the issues? I would love to believe so because I have been out and about every weekend and we do have a street stall, regular street stall. We go knocking people door, we hear from people. There is a issue um, last couple of a weeks ago there was an accident mm -hmm. and then obviously I have taken this project uh, on behalf of Netherlands Labour Party that we will educate children how to cross the road and road safetyness and since then I have the opportunity to go to Netherlands Power School, Carlton Road School and I'm going next week Hunter Bar School to talk to children about the crossing and we have some other project which is very close to community. I am closely working with One Nation Gym, who is another project, mm -hmm. uh, who have youth um, facilities and they do bringing all the youth people, taking all the youth people of the state and it makes a netherage is a safer place because uh, antisocial behaviour is less Are you doing now. any project for women? Yes. Is it One Nation is a for just male or for women? One Nation has female session and you can be trained, I mean, not you, I mean female can be trained as a boxer as well there and they have Monday, Wednesday women boxing classes and what? kickboxing classes. What I am doing, which is outside a little bit of political thing, I want to do it as a social cause and making awareness of ladies mm -hmm. that I have involved myself um, in a social project, a community project called Sheffield, Sheffield Ladies Football Community Club, which will be not only football club, which will be a place for women to breathe and getting physically active, mentally active and have a community place where they can go and have a cup of tea and have fun. And mostly, you know, uh, in, like uh, in media and newspapers and every day, uh, people saying the Asian culture is a male dominated society and you will be a first Asian candidate our uh, first Asian councillor if you won in 20, May 22. If you won the election, how you encourage other women to uh, come into politics? 
I would like to just clarify, there was actually an Indonesian candidate from Netherlands um, a couple of years ago, but obviously that was Lib Dem since then. And if I win, yes, I absolutely treasure the uh, you know phrase to say that I would be possibly first Asian lady if I do get win uh, this election, which I hope very much I will. My message or my vision is that if I go there, mm -hmm. it is a message itself that it's not Asian do male dominated place. It's our choice. We like people go to work in bank. Not everybody become doctor. Mm -hmm. Not everybody become engineers, people preference. And therefore politics is another preference. If other girls are interested, then they can see me there. Mm -hmm. And Sheffield is the only one place which hasn't had, but actually other places in Europe or mm -hmm. in England as well, there is lots of Asian female involved in politics. And I think it's very important that we come forward. We stand up for our own rights. We give our own messages and we work for other Asian, you know, disfranchised ladies who have no voice. Uh, how on doorstep? Mostly when you are in government, that is uh, very difficult to go on doorstep. At the moment, you are in government, like a Labour Party government in Sheffield. And what the people is happy with the Labour Party performance? There is some unfavorite cuts going on, mm -hmm. and sadly, it's not the local council from you know labor group or labor local council who is deciding. Mm -hmm. It's the national court, and national court and the making a budget from a li very little we have is really, really. I think people can connect because mm -hmm. the people already feeling that you, if you have income like low minimum wage you have other bills to pay. How I always ask people that, that if we have 30 pounds to spend on 30 days, mm -hmm. how are we going to afford the luxuries? So this is exactly the same thing happening. The council getting very minimum from the central government, mm -hmm. which Nick Clegg was a Sheffield person, didn't help being there because he didn't stand up for Sheffield. And we had lots of you know cuts. So whatever Sheffield council at the moment having, they have to prioritize. It's like other normal people's life, eating or heating. Mm -hmm. Same with Sheffield Central uh, local governments. They are making the priority cuts. Obviously, we have priority to save the care provision. Uh, what's your last message for the community, everybody watching you? My message is there that, to be honest, we are in difficult situation at the moment, politically and financially. But the thing is, Come out and vote and make your vote really say what you want to say. Last time people were sped up and they didn't vote and we didn't vote for coalition. We end up with coalition. Use your rights. Use the choose can you you can choose the right candidate and you can make a difference. Everybody can make a difference. Uh, thank you very much, Ms. Thank You're you very much. Thank I you know you were very, very busy. You are campaigning and you gave me your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.